going to talk about how you can level up with your informatic salary. This is Jen from Informatics Life, where I give you insight on informatics, healthcare, and technology. Welcome to the Informatics Salary Series. This is part three. Don't you want to know what I'm going to talk about this time? All right, part three in this series means what do I mean by leveling up? You probably guessed right, right? Yes, degrees! You know there are degrees out there. That's why you're looking this video up right now. Right? All right, so yes, you can level up with getting an informatics degree. You have about three major degrees out there that I am aware of. Now, there may be little other ones that I just don't know about or I haven't come across yet, but I'm just going to talk about the top three that will help boost your salary. Now, I cannot promise you that your organization or your hospital will pay you extra for having this degree. But what I can say that a lot of hospitals, especially large organizations, will boost your salary out because you have a degree. First, biomedical informatics degree. I ain't gonna get into technical about that because I don't know much about the biomedical informatics degree, but it is one. And I'm gonna put right here what that stands for. If you just kind of want a little information about what a biomedical informaticist would do. All right, you got it? All right, let's move on. Next is what I always talk about, health informatics. Yes, yes, yes. And nursing informatics. Those are all different degrees that you can level up. Now, there are people out there that work in the field that don't have an informatics degree. And yeah, they're fine. You know, they work alongside, they pr probably way smarter than us little younger informatics degree people. <laughs> they are. They have a wealth of amazing knowledge. Having those degrees does level you up. Now, let's go into the certifications. Now, I'm not talking about college certifications. Have you ever heard of that before? Hmm, maybe not. Most colleges do have some type of certification once you get your master's or your bachelor's that you could actually pay for and take, you know, a small shortened course and get a certificate to say, hey, I've been like kind of like trained in this. And, you know, that could potentially boost your salary up. So I'm not talking about those type of certs. Those are definitely relevant. I would say yes. If that's something you want to choose to do, go for it. Absolutely, 100%. But I'm really talking about the major differences here. Now, the other one I want to talk about is national certification. Now, there is a couple of those out there that I can cover really quick. First off, there is biomedical informatics certification. Yes, you can get a certification in that. Now, they may require hours. There's always like those fine details that people seem to skip over. Read the fine print, all right? A lot of times you do have to have a certain amount of um, informatics hours in certain fields in order to even qualify for taking their test, okay? So, number one, biomedical informatics certification. Number two, a really popular one out there is the ANCC. The ANCC is one of the more popular ones across the nursing informatics field, okay? It is specialized for nursing informaticists, so you gotta be a nurse and you have to have some clinical hours too. Well, hours as far as working in the field, all right? Or you have to have your degree. That's like the difference. You have to have an informatics degree or have worked in the field for a certain amount of time with your bachelor's degree, then you can get certified with under ANCC. And that is a really a recognized national certification. Next, 
Hymns. Have you ever heard of Hymns? Yes, I've heard of Hymns. He's sitting right next. No, Hymns. Read down below. Hymns is another popular one. They have a CPM and a CA Hymns. <laughs> There's so many different ones. <laughs> I tell you, those are another ones that you can go ahead and. Uh, Step your foot out there and, and get those certifications to level up that salary to say, hey, I got these qualifications. I'm worth some value here. And last and not least, we have AMIA. <laughs> that is another certification that you can get out there. So, and that one, um, in particular, I'm gonna put links down in the description at, for all of these different certifications so you can read all the details because that's not what this is about. This is about leveling up that degree. But that is for people who are nurses and maybe you're in the healthcare field and you want some type of informatics certification. So the AMIA is just for you, all right? So check all those links out. Go where you're needed, go where you want it, go where you're honored and respected and get paid. So we covered degrees out there that you can get to level up, and we covered certs out there that you can get to level up. Now we're gonna talk about EMR, documentation certification. All right, that is one of those that a lot of people don't know about it, yes. A lot of times major documentation systems, I should say EMR documentation systems, have certifications that you could potentially get. All right, it is definitely dependent upon your hospital organization as well as the company. And I'll put a link down there for you to, if you're interested in that, those are, that's just another way you can level up with your salary to say, hey, I'm certified in that, so go ahead and, Put that extra five dollars an hour on there. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so that is another cool way that a lot of people don't know about. Now I hope this video was short and sweet enough and that you learned different ways to level up that salary. All right? Because all degrees and all certs matter. All right. <laughs> this is Jen. Don't forget, if you want to rock this shirt or buy other informatics products, check in the description down below. All right, you guys, you have an amazing day and don't forget to level up. This is Jen signing off, informatics nurse specialist.